Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Look how cute these bikes are. So we're going to start adventure in Da Nang with these cute Italian scooters. But oh, they remind me of Italian scooters. <laughs> Look how funny. Thank you. He's training his in for a bigger helmet now. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let's be real. If we get into an accident, these helmets are not going to help anything. <laughs> so, we'll just drive really safe. Oh, here we go. It's official. And here we go. I feel like Lizzie McGuire in Asia. Yo, the Joes. Wow, we're on an Italian scooter. <laughs> Isn't this so romantic? As we drove down the main strip of Da Nang, the city was like a dream. With sweeping boardwalks right beside the ocean, glistening white sands, it wasn't that long until we drove into the limestone mountains that surrounds the city like an alcove. From there, we saw this skyline of the fifth biggest city in Vietnam in the distance, marking the halfway point between the capital of the north, Hanoi, and Saigon, the bustling heart of the south. With its French colonial port, Da Nang's pagodas, and lush landscape, it was unbelievable to be in a place that encapsulates the best of Vietnamese life so well in one city. I once read that Vietnam is full of intrigue, adventure, solace, and spirituality. It has fixated and confounded travelers for centuries, and nothing rings more true when you're zipping on a motorbike through this land. Soulful, spiritual, fascinating, and humbling. Far more in the Far East. And here we are. We drove up. It took us about 15 minutes all the way from Da Nang all the way up here. And on top of this hill is the tallest Buddha in Vietnam. So the view and the ride here is just so beautiful. And then wandering around these temples as well. Old Chinese influence in the architecture. I love it. So when I was little, we would always watch these feudal uh, Vietnamese drama, my parents, and they always set place in like ancient time. And uh, these architecture of these temples remind me of them. And it's really cool to see these lion statues all around, and then walking up close to the Lady Buddha and seeing how tall she is, especially when you're like looking like what, like right up. With that, we continued our drive. Some of the best views of Vietnam can only be gained by motorbiking down the coast like these. Yurun and I took turns driving and it was thrilling to grip my fingers on the handlebar, accelerating as the wind and the tinge of salt water from the ocean whooshed by us. We're driving along the highway coast right now and it's just unbelievably beautiful so quiet and so clean and clear for us and can't help but like to stop here and there to just like get off our bike and like see the view with views like this a personal hero of mine Anthony Bernane once said I wanted kicks the kind of melodramatic thrills and chills I've yearned for since childhood. The kind of adventure I found as a little boy in the pages of my Tintin comic books. Being here feels like his late words came to life. Confucius chilling. So on the way up here, our scooter, as cute as it is, turns out it can't go up hills really well because well it can go up hills if it's one person Yurun, but with me and Yurun on it it's a little bit more tricky as in it can't go up at all like as in along the way I had to walk up and as you can see from the height that we are at it was a long walk up I'm really tired but the good thing is um, is that a nice Vietnamese guy helped and drove me up along the way so you can drive up the rest 
which is really sweet. <laughs> so now we made it. And also my fries, and fries thing. And we made friends along the way as well. These two new friends. <laughs> 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 and their names are <laughs> yeah. Fu, Fu. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> and so we biked all the way up to the summit with them. <laughs> you can't see because it it's really foggy, but the Nang is right there. It's so beautiful. And the sea too. See here, the road is nice. That explains why. Yeah. Brought to this cool local spot by locals. It's actually really beautiful with these big boulders. I like the sea. <laughs> Most beautiful spot ever. With Cheetos. <laughs> going on the Dragon Bridge. At night on Saturdays and Sundays, it blows up fire, but since it's during the day, during the weekday right now, no fire, but it still looks really cool. It extends the whole bridge. Yeah. We're on the Lover's Bridge with all the hearts. You can see the dragon bridge on the back. And all the locks. Yeah, and all the locks. Reached to our final destination. We're returning our cars. One last time. Saying bye to our new friends. Bye! See you later! See you later! Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Sending you lots of love from the central coast of Vietnam.